share us on, on, on Facebook, you've probably noticed that uh, Frontman Yari's been posting a lot of uh, rants about the status of Time 2 and why it's not happening and all kinds of stuff. And so we're going to discuss our opinions on what he says. So in a brief overview, since Tyler's read it probably more thoroughly than all of us, what basically is he saying? Um, well, first of all, before we get into this, this is a clearly opinion on the matter. Um, this is just our thoughts on the matter. Uh, this is our thoughts on what he said. And, you know, we're not right. We're not Yari. We're not anything. This we're is just our blast. thoughts. We're none of the yeah. So, don't fucking rage in the comments at us. It's just opinion. Um, anyways. He's posted two extremely long Facebook posts, basically complaining that he can't make music because he doesn't have the space. He doesn't have his own studio space to be able to make music um, because he has he he mixes it all in his apartment and there's noise feedback which obviously you don't want in a recording. Um, he, he said if he, if he would rent a studio like, like every other band in the fucking world does, um, he just wouldn't have enough time to craft the guitar sound that he wants, uh, to, to do his vocals like he wants. It just wouldn't be enough time. And then because he doesn't have enough time, they'd be in a studio for a long time, which is a lot of money. Um, especially if you're in a really good studio. So he's basically saying he's just at this dead end where... Nuclear Blast won't give enough give him enough money to build his own studio, but he thought about crowdfunding that. But if he crowdfunded that, the Nuclear Blast would take such a huge chunk out of it that he would basically have no money to build his studio anyways. Um, so he's in just a roadblock, and we're extremely huge Winter Sun fans, and, and we want to see more music from Winter Sun and from just Yari in general. And so we thought we would just share a little bit of our thoughts on what he's what he's been saying. And, you know, I don't know. Whatever. Now, That's the gist of what he's saying. If you want to read it, go to go to their Facebook page and it's really it'll, it'll probably yeah, take you twenty five, thirty minutes to read through it all. Yeah. Um now I can understand being a perfectionist and wanting the album to sound the best that it can. I can understand that, and I can understand where he's coming from with that, in terms of like the feedback and all that. But the thing I'm not getting is, he's saying how, oh, Time 1 sounded, bas he's saying Time 1 basically sounded like shit because he didn't, he wasn't able to properly mix it because he was doing it all in his apartment on a laptop. The general consensus between the three of us is Time One sounds absolutely fucking phenomenal, I think. The guitars sound great, even though you're always like, oh, the guitars sounded like crap, and, you know, he can't practice his vocals. Time One, to me, sounds almost absolutely flawless, and I really don't get where he's coming from with that. So, yeah, that's all I've got on that at the moment. I uh, mean... I don't get where he's coming from. Yeah. That either I think it sounds great. Yeah, it's, I think I think the only thing is that maybe yeah, it's, the guitar does fade back into the mix of it, but I think that adds to the whole thing. If this is more than just like a metal song or a metal album, it's just a great yeah. music yeah. album. And so the fact yeah. that the guitars kind of go with everything so well works. I mean, I at least that 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 was always the feeling I got from it. Cause it's also orchestral, and I guess uh, it's it's with not the just Asian an album. influences. It's, it's an experience. Like, yeah, so it's like I don't. Yeah, I mean, he even said his vocals. He was unsatisfactory with his vocals because you know he can't practice in his apartment because there's neighbors and you know they're gonna get mad and things like that. And he can't practice and he can't experiment and things like that. Which, so, I mean, which I get that, but I mean again the vocals and all the vocal harmonies and whatnot. Yours one of the best vocalists in this genre of music I've heard. It's like, yeah, the vocals sound awesome in Time One. I mean, I don't, I also, I don't know where he's coming out with that either. So I mean, now we're not Yari, so we don't know 
this maybe he had this specific super awesome guitar sound in mind. Um, but I yeah, like I said, I think the guitars sound fine. I mean, they they have just enough balls to them when you know they're just playing like some open palm mute or something. It's just it's the perfect amount of heavy, and it just it screams perfectly when it comes to the solos and. I thought it was just mixed really well. And he, the thing is, is that he's saying, you know, he, he needs time and just a studio space to properly mix all this music. He, he has to turn it up so loud in his apartment because he doesn't have a proper mixing space and all that. It's not properly soundproofed or made. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, is no matter how complicated you, mi you make your music, it's going to be hard to mix. It's going to be hard to make it perfect. I mean, Keith and I have recorded our music, and, and yeah, it's no winter sun. It's not complicated, but still, I mean, it's just, it, it, the more complicated you make things, the harder it's going to be to mix, because it's already hard to mix in the first fucking place. So it's like, at least that's just my thoughts on it. And I think his vocals sounded great. They were so much more improved than... Uh, their self-titled debut and, and and their sound fantastic. Now I think you know if he had time to practice, they could sound so much better. I won't disagree with him on that. But I, like I just and I think that's a general consensus about a lot of people. Is I, I don't understand where he's coming from and saying time one sounds so shitty. He, he was basically saying it it was hard to polish a turd, and it's like. <laughs> If this is a turd, this is one of the most beautiful, beautiful turds, turds that I've ever heard. This is a masterpiece. I would make so love to that turd. Like, Jesus Christ. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, a, a, a perfectionist is, you know... Yeah. You're never if you're a perfectionist, satisfied. you're never going to be satisfied. Yeah. So it's like, no matter what, if he has his own studio space, he's probably not going to be fucking satisfied. And these albums will never come out. Because that's the thing. I, I also think that maybe... He, with the thing he's saying, it's going to take such a long time to craft the guitar sound. I don't think, and this again, I, I'm not Yari, I don't know. I don't think he knows what he wants for a guitar sound. <coughs> That's what like, I'm thinking, Like, he too. sounds like he just wants to, like, all right, let's, let's, yeah, I mean, I get it, wanting it to sound so that it fits with the music really well, which I think it already did yeah. fit with Time One. Yeah, like Tyler said, it had the right amount of balls, it was kind of good. But, you know, maybe wanting to twist it and, you know, make it so that it fits the music per. Purpose, but I, I think I mean this is my opinion again. I don't think he he knows what guitar sound he looks possibly. It, it'd be it could be really funny. He gets his own studio and like and then like you know he starts messing with it and then like it'll be like it, you know that's like his main concern is trying to craft a guitar sound and then it doesn't take him that long. And he's like I got it. And it's like oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel that usually if you go into the studio, you already have a set sound in mind. You know. Of, you would think. of your guitars, I mean, and, and then you just work to get as close as you can to that sound. It's like we did that. Yeah, it's just. I mean, yeah, we're no Yari. I, I don't want anyone to think that we think we're better than Yari. It's. Just, I'm just trying to point out that we have experience with that too. Um, but yeah, I would just think that ahead of time he would already have a a guitar sound. You know, what do you, in, in mind. However, I mean, what things you, can always be better. It, as good as we think time one is, I mean, it could, be it, it could have been better. Everything can always be better. So maybe if he could get that sound, you know, we would just cream even more over the guitars or something. But well, yeah. I just think it's a little weird that he's not like, okay, this is what I want. This is what yeah. I'm working towards. I actually, you know, at least from the first post. Because, you know, he's made, like I said, he's made two really long ones. He sounded like he was so, so incredibly far away. And, like, the first post, it, 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 I don't know, it, it seemed a little bit more like, you know what I mean? You were almost not looking at Yari, and you kind of looked, you, you know what I mean? It, whereas, you could, I, I'm not saying you should or whatnot, but you could look at it and be like, you know, wow, this, it's, it's Yari who's holding this up. But then if you looked at the first one, it sounded like he had absolutely nothing and that he was going in whereas he comes out in this one and he says he has everything except for the guitars and the vocals mixed and then and the, sp and the space and, and then all he, he has all the equipment he needs he just needs a space and I'm just kind of like 
you're that close, and it's like, I mean, I don't know. So my solution and my suggestion for that would be, hey, if you're getting too much ambient noise from your current apartment, move. Find it like find really find a new place to live. If it if that really is the biggest issue here is that you can't practice your vocals because of your apartment building and because of your neighbors, move. I mean, I, again, I'm not Yari, I don't live in Finland, so I don't know what the housing situation is like. But really, Occam's razor, simplest solution is usually the best and the correct one. Now, I'm sure if, I feel like, I feel like they should do some touring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, I, I know still, even yet, they don't make an insane amount of money touring, but when you come over to America for your first headlining tour, they would sell out the entire tour. I That's think you're going to make a little bit of money. Um, at least, you know, just I looking at some guys. statistics that the venues rack in, and I'm sure the bands get more of a cut about that because that's where bands make their money touring is or money in general anymore is with touring and merch sales and all that. So, I mean, I'm not in a touring band, so I don't know the exact logistics of that, but I feel like if he toured, he'd be like, okay, maybe I have a little bit of money that I could set aside and put towards a space or something. Because yeah. he said he's, he's saving his money to build a space. He's, he has everything he needs. He, he just needs a space. And so maybe if you do a tour, maybe you can put that money towards a space. Do a couple tours. Or, or the other thing is, is his, what was it? It says his, his uh, contract with Nuclear Records is over, like, for what? For another album? Is what yeah. He can, and then he's at, a, for, at least for last year, you know? Do, uh, put out a live album. I don't know. Something that, you know, is a little bit less, you know what I mean? Complicated. I mean, again, I don't know what goes into making a live album. I would assume well, it might take a little less. He time. said if they had his own space, he could make a live album. That's what he said. Hmm. Um, Do like a tour, like a tour, record a show from one of your tours. Like go on tour, record one of those. Sell it. Yeah. Be, you know... Because I, I, cause that would be the other thing that I would say. I mean, crowdfunding it would probably, just because of how many people love this, would solve it completely. But just as long as he's still under contract with nu with, with uh, Nuclear Records, he can't really get that. Because like you said, Nuclear Records would get a good bit of the money. So yeah. it's like, that's one solution. He could tour, he could try to put something out. He could just put out something. I don't know. Yeah. He could kind of almost, maybe for... Uh, you know, put out maybe if it's just like something else, yeah. like hope, put time to away and just be like compromise. It could be just like a little EP or something. Put it out, just that you know, one generate money and have a reason to go on a good reason to go on tour again. And you know, who knows? And to no money. fulfill your contractual obligations with Nuclear Blast. Yeah. So, um, the thing that makes me sad about this whole thing is that he basically is sounding like he will not make any more music if he doesn't have this studio space. Which is he is a huge Winter Sun fan that makes me extremely sad. However, I mean, if it's gonna take eight years for Time Two to come out or just any music from Winter Sun, I mean I'm gonna lose interest in Winter Sun. Yeah. It's just it's as simple as that. Um, as much as, I mean, I'm sure I'll still listen to their two albums they have out now and be like, this is awesome, but I won't feel the same way as I do now. You know, a lot of people lost interest between their self-titled debut and their, and time one. It's like the same thing would happen then, and, you know, it just sucks because, and, and he says that he's not talented enough. To do this stuff in you know a slotted time frame, and I, I feel like I, I I disagree with that because I feel Yari is one of the most talented people in metal, and he says like how he does everything, and he says he's not talented and that he's some nobody, um, but Devin Townsend can do it. Devin Townsend sometimes cranks out two albums a year, okay? Yeah. 
and I would, I, I would, you know, I think Devin Towns is probably a little bit more talented than Yari, but I mean, you don't really see him complaining like that. I mean, I just feel you, you're talented. You know what you're gonna do. You can just sit down and bang this fucking shit out. Why not take that long? I, I, that's just my thoughts on that. Is that I feel he is talented enough to do this, yeah. this stuff. But once again, I'm not Yari. Maybe he just, you know, he says he needs a studio for a year, two, three years, or whatever, and that's pretty crazy. But I mean, music like Winter Sun's music. I mean, it's it, 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 it would it would take a long time. Gonna I'm not going to deny that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, there's no like month recording and like okay, we're done. <laughs> We're mixing it now, you know. It would take a while, but I still think he would be he's talented enough to be able to crank this shit out because I mean Devin Townsend can do it. I don't know why he can't do it. You know. My thoughts on that. Yeah. Especially when you're I I can see I guess not that it will take a little while because when you're dealing with over two hundred tracks yeah. of just orchestration before you even get to the band. Like that's a lot of stuff. That's a big to be, and I, and, I, and I understand that. I mean, from looking at it, it's like mixing one, you know, the more tracks you add, the harder it is because you have to, because then you kind of have to go back and check to make sure, can I still hear this? How is it working? Blah, blah, blah. And so I can see maybe taking... go through every single part, you know? You know, it's like, I, guess, yeah, I can get that it would take, that it could take maybe, you know, uh, a good, good couple months to like a year maybe to do that because, I mean, you, you literally have to go down and sit and be like, I gotta get this. And then after a while, you know, I do understand, yeah, it gets tiring looking at the screen for trying, moving a millimeter, you gotta, you know. And plus, too, you, you, if you're gonna have that much, that many tracks, you have to have a beefy computer. Oh, yeah, so. You yeah. can't have some just piece of turds that, you know, is gonna be slow every time you try to make a change. Yeah, so it's like, I, I, I see what he's saying about having difficulties with that. But then again, it's like, like you said, Yari's talented. I feel like the he's mixing just should be... making too many excuses. What, what? He's just making too many excuses. It's, it, it almost, yeah. it almost kind of seems that way. I mean... Yeah. Well, and when he said that he pretty much had both Time albums recorded and it was just basically mixing left yeah. to do on Time too. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Like, so, yeah. Um, Time One came out... First of all, it was supposed to be one album. Yeah. And then they split it into two. Time One came out late 2012, and they said early 2013, Time Two. Well, we're getting towards the final few months of 2014, and we haven't heard anything. And he's... Supposedly, it's... <laughs> you know, it's like... We may never see this album. Fully recorded. I mean... I hope I don't know. I hope we see it, but the way things are going, we may never see it. Which makes me fucking sad. It does. It's like, yeah, because I want to hear more <laughs> great music. And know. he says he has, like, five albums worth of material, and it's like... Uh, and he says it's more, you know, it just gets even ambitious more. than time. And I'm like, dude... Damn it. Don't I just tell us this. this. Yes. Yeah, don't tell me that. I just want to hear music. I don't mean, be a dick tease. And I'm not trying to... Just sound like some fucking motherfucking fanboy or whatever, but I just want to hear music from Winter Sun because they are one of my favorite bands. Oh yeah, and they're just they're they're too good to not make music yeah. and to just sit there and just you know fucking bitch and moan. You know, if you were if you worked at Nuclear Blast. And you dealt with this stuff. Would you give Winter Sun money? Put your love for Winter Sun aside. As unbiased as possible. Try to think of it from a business perspective. You have all these bands that you gotta loan money out to. Going off of all this shit. Music doesn't make as much money as it used to. Going off of the success of the self-titled. And just the end time one itself as an album plus the tour here where they sold out almost every single show I would give Winter Sun the money for this because you're going to make it back if they would make you make it back yeah 
Like all the money they give you to record an album. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I mean, like speaking as so, a representative yeah. of Nuclear Blast, what just looking at the success that Winter Sun has had with their self-titled, with Time One as an album, with the tour here where they sold out almost every show. That would give me a little, bit, you know, more than a little confidence, and said, "Yeah, they're gonna get it done. This is gonna do well." Here's the money. Now, get to it. Uh, I'm very much on the fence about it. I mean, yes, you get, I, you could give them the money, but then I, I almost feel like, and I mean, just because of the way he's, Yari's sounding a lot of times he's talking, it's never going to be enough. He's going to want more. You know, I, I I need I need better equipment. This equipment I have is good, but I need better stuff. I need it. So it's like, eventually it's going to be like, you're fronting out money, and it's like you're not seeing the return investment. But I mean, when it actually, if it ever actually happens, you're going to get your money back. I mean, it's going to happen, but it's just like, thinking of it from like a current. Do I want to put out money now, but then only get it back three, two, three years down the road. Like, do I want to make take that chance? You know what I mean? So, I'm, I might I might almost even actually... I mean, I, I also, I don't know how much it costs to get an actual... How, what actual yeah, money it takes like, to get a recording space. Like, yeah. I don't know, it could be like, just a couple, you know, maybe a, a you know, an extra couple grand or two, and it's just like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, that's the other thing I don't know. So, I mean, I, I probably, if I would... Nuclear Blast, I mean, I think they might be almost right on this, maybe, about n not giving him any money. At least that's me, though. Yeah. I I kind of agree with that. And, and if I would give him money, I wouldn't give him all the money. Yeah. I would just give him a, a little bit of it and be like, well, here's this. You can put the, you know, your money towards the rest of it or whatever. You know, and be like, I'll give you this, but you gotta get time two out in this time frame or something. Or it's like, you know, or it's like here. Yeah. This is how much it costs. We'll cover every th to to get a recording space. That's all we're gonna help with. After your money, we'll pay for the rest. Yeah. You, uh, your money goes into it. Then yeah. we'll cover the rest, and that's it. Yeah. All you get. So like, yeah, I mean, they could be right on this. So I mean, I, I guess he's in negotiations. He said. With, yeah, he's talking yeah, about the so, currently. Trying who knows? To maybe that something like that could be what's happening. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I mean. Hopefully, I mean, Nuclear Blast did come out and and they made a made a statement about it and said you know this and that and that you know they're like we don't want to see Wonder Sun go away we want to see Wonder Sun make more music and this and that yada 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 so but we'll, we'll have to see yeah definitely we just I just want more Wonder Sun music yeah I, do. I just don't want to have to wait so fucking long again for it yeah that'd be terrible that'd be just yeah. This is just our thoughts on uh, some some comments about what you already said. Let us know your comments. And remember, this is just all opinion. And we'll see you guys later.